Good evening and welcome to St. Lawrence Church, both to the congregation here in church and the congregation on Zoom. We gather for a rather different service of remembering at All Souls Tide. It's a simple service, but hopefully meaningful and helpful to us all. Anything in bold print, do please join in with if you feel able to. But if you just want to sit and let the service, in its sense, minister to you, that's absolutely fine. We can't sing any hymns at the moment. Um, just one person can sing, and that will be a little of that later on. And our service has been put together this evening by our very humble curate, Reverend Teresa, who's actually at home looking after the Zoom congregation. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm the Reverend Canon Janet Chapman. I'm the rector here, joined by Janice Wones, our lay reader, and Father David Pycock is doubling up on tech control and also taking part in the service. I'm going to hand over to Janice now. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. We come today to remember with thankfulness those we have known and loved who have died. We give thanks for all that they have meant to us we come seeking to learn of God's love and to open our lives to the help and strength that he can give us as we continue on the journey of life without them. We pray for ourselves and all who mourn that they would be comforted. Everlasting God, our maker and redeemer, grant us with all the faithful departed, the sure benefits of your son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day, when you gather up all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, his mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. For the Lord will not reject forever. Although he causes grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love, for he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. We each have our own reasons for being here today. Let us acknowledge and reflect on those reasons now. Whether we come in certainty or in confusion, in anger or in anguish, 
this is the time for us. Whether we come in silent suffering or hidden sorrow, in pain or promise, this is the time for us. Whether we come for our own or another's need, for a private hurt or the wound of the world, this is, is the, the time, time for us. If we come and do not know why, to be here is enough. This is the time for us. Come now, Christ of the loving arms. Come now, Christ of the yearning tears. Come now, Christ of the transforming touch. This is the time for us. Amen. When someone dies, there may be moments when we look back with regret and wish we had said or done more, or that we can take back something we said or did that we regret. We cannot now put that right face to face with the person, but we can come before God and ask for forgiveness. As children of a loving Heavenly Father, let us ask his forgiveness, for he is gentle and full of compassion. If only, Lord God, if only we had taken time, if only we had said more, if only we had said less, we confess to you our regrets, we acknowledge what is past. In this moment, give us grace to receive and offer forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God our Father forgive you your sins and bring you to the eternal joy of his kingdom where dust and ashes have no dominion. Amen. Amen. We come now to the act of commemoration and as we read out the names, we are reading them in alphabetical order by surname. There is always a moment at this point where we go, we hope we've got every name on the list. And if by any chance human error has crept in, and that's my human error, and we don't read the name of your loved one, please do let us know and we can do something special after the service. So, as we light this candle, we remember those who have died and affirm that they are in God's safekeeping. Alan Baldwin, Lily Binner, Pamela Claire Blackshaw, Joan Ethel Mabel Budden, Royston George Bullock, Michael Bur Burbridge, Roger Vaughan Cannon. Jacqueline Mary Chance, Mary Chinnock, 
Fukin Choi. Bernard Clancy, William Cochrane, David Collier, former rector here, Carol Collier, Hilary Blanche Cope, Alice Elizabeth Critch, Nora Devey, Susan Iris Dutton, Maurice Don Fripp, Dorothy Giles. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Bernard John Harper, Nadia Inwood, Cynthia Johnson, Julie Ann Joseph, Henry William Lewis, Feng Yuan Liang, Lily Cynthia Mordit, Kathleen Mitchell, Doreen Murray, Sydney Brian Nesbitt. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Peter Nutt, Patrick O'Keefe, Colin Parker, Alan Edward Phillips, Anne Molly Riordan, Harry Ruff, Teresa Mary Russell, Roger Shaffey, Gwyneth Smith, Kenneth Smith. Andrew Stubbs, Barbara Marjorie Sweet, Thomas Claude Thompson, also a former rector here, Gerald Fanston, Margaret Rose Walker, Susan Walker, Ivy Wells Richardson, Beryl Sheila Wheeler, John Thomas White, Colin White. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Muriel Whitmore. Tracy Williams, Anne Carol Wiley, Alan Thomas York. All who have died of COVID-19. All who have died without anyone to mourn them. All our loved ones who have died, whether recently or in times past.
our laughter, all our sadness, save now in God's hands. All our anger, all our gladness, save now in God's hands. All our stories, all our memories, save now in God's hands. Those who remember, those we love, save now in God's hands. Heavenly Father, in your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and sure hope. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all our days, that we may live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for coming here to church this evening, and thank you to all those who've joined us on Zoom. For those in church, if you'd like to take your order of service with you, that's absolutely fine. And as we leave, just leave, you know, slowly and gradually maintaining the social distancing. We'll put some music on so there's no need to rush off. And as I say, if we have omitted the name of a crucial person, do mention it and we can light a candle separately for you. This will be the last service we have here in St. Lawrence for the next month or so, but we are staying open on Saturday mornings between 10 and 11.30 for people just to pop in, say a prayer, and maybe light a candle. We aren't taking a collection this evening, um, and, but if you would like to support our ministry in by financial donation. There is an offertory plate and we do even have a, one you can tap to donate five pounds. But please don't feel embarrassed if you don't want to or can't manage that. So we come now to the blessing. May God give to you and to all those whom you love his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. In, In the, the name, name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.